Hi parents, if you are still following us in this series, it basically means you are a very concerned parent who is absolutely committed to supporting your child in his upcoming GCE O or N level English exams, right? We are now down to our last tip, tip number seven of our sharing series. And today I'll be sharing with you. Um, this, this tip will basically help your child overcome um, one of the hurdles okay that he will be experiencing when he's doing argumentative writing and you know then this hurdle is basically you know uh, coming up with ideas developing ideas so if your child has ever come up to you and say that oh mommy or daddy you know um, I when I do argumentative or discursive writing you know I don't have any ideas I don't know what to write okay so if if, if this sounds like um, what your child has shared with you previously then you need to pay close attention to this tip which I'm about to share with you now First and foremost, why is it that, you know, previously, um, you know, your child might find it much easier to come up with ideas when they are doing uh, creative recount writing in primary school or even the lower secondary, but now that they have come to argumentative uh, discursive writing, it suddenly seems that they have no ideas at all. Now, it shouldn't come as a surprise because when your child is doing creative recount writing, what they are basically utilizing is more the right hand side of the brain, right, which is involved with imagination and creativity. So when they need to develop their storyline, their plot, or share their experiences, what they are doing is basically, you know, utilizing their imaginative skills, okay? But it is a different ball game altogether for argumentative writing because argumentative writing uh, demands logical reasoning as well as for your child to include real life examples uh, in their writing okay and and it basically utilizes the left hand side of the brain okay so this difference um, in terms of the demands of the question is a very is, is the problem why your child would come and tell you that you know they, they've got no ideas or they don't know what to write okay so um what you can do um to help your child is basically this now while the OAA level paper is essentially a language paper and not a content paper he still has to be well versed with some current affairs uh, knowledge okay he has to be well equipped with current affairs okay I know at this point in time some parents out there you will heave a sign of relief that okay there's finally someone who agrees with me that you know my child needs to read more all right now um, because um, um, time is not on the side of the child so what you could do is to get your your child to focus on some high frequency themes okay that are commonly tested in the old levels or the end levels and they are the current buzzwords so i would say that you know focus on topics themes related to technology okay especially um, about the internet social media or mobile devices okay another um current hot topic will be based on environment okay we all know the environment um, is, is a big global issue these days so you could get your child to focus on that other than that are uh, topics which relate to teenage experiences uh, relate to the experiences of youth uh, will be a hot topic as well and finally any topic that relates to Singapore in general you know topics related to the theme of food uh, shopping or even culture or traditions okay so get your child to read up on current affairs based on the topics that I have outlined to you, all right? Now, so um, if I may use an analogy, all right? Okay, let's, let's think about baking a delicious chocolate cake. Now, what do we need to bake a delicious chocolate cake, all right? Some of you will probably think of, um, you know, uh, we need the recipe, uh, we need to have good baking skills. Now, other than that, one of the most important uh, things one of the most important things that we need is basically good quality ingredients perhaps like eggs milk and even premium belgium chocolate okay on a similar vein all right similarly you know for students um, to ace their essays they need to read quality articles in order to have ideas so that they could tackle um, the argumentative essays with is okay so it's a very sim simple simple concept all right no input equal no output so perhaps you could share this analogy with your with your child if they are still resistant about reading okay 
tell them uh, just focus on the teams which I've outlined. All right, just in case you miss it, the teams are technology, um, environment, teenage experiences, and Singapore. All right, so get them to read out articles on those areas. Uh, jot down the ideas in a notebook or a piece of paper so that they have these examples ready on hand uh, that they could bring in when they are doing their writing topics. All right. Okay, now, so it has been an extreme privilege to be, you know, sharing so many tips with all concerned parents out there over the last uh, few days. You know, it has been a really deep privilege and, you know, um, I've enjoyed myself, you know, sharing all these tips with you. All right. So um, if your child needs some form of extra support, feel free to contact me or my team of language specialists. All right. And all the best to you and the child for their upcoming next exams. Take care.